Okay, friends. Hi, Doc South here, just reaching over to the desk. I got something I want to show you. Sandy's going to be taking this item up to the Sladington Antique Center to sell it. And I thought you'd get a charge out of it. Because in, in my case, this is something I remember being new. Uh, back as a kid, back in the, uh, I would guess it would be the mid-50s for this. Um, for the longest time, we had phones that hung on the wall. A phone like this, but it didn't have a dial, if I recall right. I don't think it had a dial. Uh, you would just, you'd, you'd pick up the receiver, and an operator downtown in Chester, New Jersey, would pick up the, uh, would see that you picked up your phone, and they would ask you what number you wanted. And if you were going to call within the town of Chester, your number would have been a three-digit number. You would have want, uh, I want 307J, or give me uh, 422B, and they'd, they'd hook you up, and that'd be probably one of your school chums. Um, then eventually, the phones came with this dial. They actually had to have a guy come from the phone company to show us how to work a dial, a dial phone, because you, you had to make certain that you, yeah, that you took it, took the phone dial you picked the number you wanted and you had to take it all the way over and then remove your finger and let the dial do its own move. And somehow or another that you did that for all the numbers you needed uh, for that particular person you were going to call. And I think if you had to call out of town, I think they had to give you an outside line. Like if you had to call Morristown from Chester, some number in Morristown, well, they'd, they'd hook you up to a special line, long distance. Right. <laughs> and, but these were, yeah, these hung on walls. They had, see, they had a way of hanging on the wall. Wire came out the bottom and I guess out to the telephone line outside. And that's pretty much what you did. And to hang up the phone, you just did like that. And this, and so, of course, when you picked up the phone, that activated it by this thing. And sometimes people, if they were in a hurry to get to the operator, they'd go like that. And the operator know that it was a, uh, perhaps a serious call. And I think the operator could call the uh, fire company, police. Of course, we only had one policeman in the town. We, they could call the fire company or the rescue squad and uh, on their own. You know, if, if, if you said, hey, there's a fire at, at uh, 484 Main Street, well, they'd, they'd take care of it from there. Yeah. And these babies, uh, they weigh about, I'm guessing about four or five pounds. And uh, you'd... Uh, that would, like I said, hang on the wall with these two brackets. And darned if it wasn't, yeah, they worked just fine. I forget how much the phone bill was. It, of course, nothing compared to what you get nowadays. <laughs> In fact, it was a whole lot cheaper, if I recall. I think my father having a cow because the phone bill was $15. <laughs> if that. Yeah, but oh, my God. Uh, it, and then, yeah, you'd be on the line. The thing is, is if you were on a party line where you shared your phone with maybe four other people, in other words, uh, the, maybe your neighbors, right? If you, if you were on a party line, if you were talking, they might pick up and listen in on your call or they maybe, maybe all your friends would get, if they were all on that same party line, they could, uh, pick up and you could have a regular, uh, relatively long conversation uh, with all your different friends. Uh, yeah, that could be done. But if they were not on your party line, then yeah, it didn't work that. Yeah. Uh, it was just mono on mono. Pretty cool though. It's, it's funny. And we thought it was the best invention ever. Now people had got kids would probably be embarrassed to have a phone like that. You know, they, <laughs> they want one of them, their smartphones. And, uh, and frankly, we were on the phone a lot with our friends, just like kids nowadays are on the, on the smartphone with, with their friends. We did like this. They did like this <laughs> nowadays, or do like this nowadays. Yeah. Cool, huh? Yeah, I thought you'd like it. Sandy's going to sell this. Uh, she's got all nice and clean. She's going to take it up to the uh, Sladington Antique Center, Sladington, Pennsylvania, and put it up for grabs there. I have no idea what she's asking for it. I think she's still thinking on it. But ain't this something, huh? Some It's funny, being older now, it's kind of fun to see the stuff that I knew as a kid 
being sold in antique shops. That that's yeah, and I know I I do like when I had an antique shop uh, many years ago. I remember people coming in, old timers, f- looking at something from the nineteen you know nineteen nineteen or something. Oh, I remember that when I was a kid. Now look what I'm doing. Same darn thing. Cool. Life marches on. I'll see you later. Uh, You know what? Lord's Prayer moment. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory forever. So be it. Okay, we'll see you later, friends. Ta-ta. Oh, oh, it's for you. Oh, okay.